en droit. Well, the question was about Doctor Who and how I prepared for the first um, go, Adventure in Space and Time. When I was first asked to play it, I felt like I was playing, not playing Doctor Who, but playing the actor who played Doctor Who. So I felt a, a sense of uh, responsibility to his fans, uh, who watched his Doctor Who and especially to his family. I was, uh, when, when I played in the, uh, the Christmas episode with Peter Capaldi, that was a different experience in the fact that this time I was Doctor Who and I was part of the Doctor Who family and that then I could say I am or have been the Doctor and that was the first time so that, that's when I felt the responsibility, not so much to his family, but to the Doctor Who fans. My favourite scene in Harry Potter was in The Chamber of Secrets, the second film, um, because I had a scene where I had to come through and discover my cat petrified and strung up on a, on a hook thinking Mrs. Norris was dead. But the chief thing about that, that why I enjoyed that so much is my daughter, who was a very young teenager then, she joined me on the set and we spent a few days together. Christopher Columbus said, well, while she's here, why don't we put her in the movie? So she played a small part of one of the school kids in the scene where I come bursting through and and scream at Harry and think that he's, think that Mrs. Norris is dead. So um, my daughter had a brief appearance when she popped her head up in the scene and it gave me enormous pleasure to, uh, to have her in the film as well. Quel scène vous avez préféré dans Game of Thrones? Well, that scene, obviously, the, uh, the Red Wedding, when they, um, when they finally cut my throat, I can't say I enjoyed that because we had to do it several times. The blood was sticky and got everywhere. It was ended up in my shoes. So there was so much blood and it was so messy. I didn't enjoy it. But at the Red Wedding was... Because I didn't have to do much. I just had to give a big speech and then sit back and watch everybody being killed and just have a drink, have some food, and just sit and... For him, it was like watching a cabaret. Yeah. Well, it, it was a very funny moment. Uh, when I was running up and... When I ran up the hall to give a message to Dumbledore, and I thought... I wanted to make it funny, but... So I had to think very hard. If Filch has to run, how would he run? What would he run like? And, but of course, being filming, I only, I, I had to, it only appeared once in the film, me running into the hall to give a message to Dumbledore and then back again. But because of uh, uh, the complication of the scene, I had to do it about 30 times in one day. And it was absolutely exhausting. And I was, I was wishing I'd walked instead of run by the end. But when I saw it on the screen, I thought, oh, they've made it look funny. So I was happy with the outcome. But my God, it was hard work. <laughs> on continue. Alors, on va mettre ce côté, on va mettre ce côté. On va mettre deux côtés. On commence par quoi Là, allez, on va. Au milieu. Oh dear, we are in trouble. You 
mentioned the line, oh dear, we are in trouble. That line was not in the original script. But because I'd read the first book, I think the line was, oh, it's detention for you. But I remember there's a line in the very first book that wasn't in the first film, when Filch catches Harry and his friends in the tower with the dragon heads or something, and he says, Filch finds them and says, oh dear, we are in trouble. So I said to the director, Chris Columbus, can I say that line that wasn't in the first script and put it in here when I'm waiting at the top of the stairs? And he said, sure, do it, just do it. And that's the line that most people now remember. And I was, if I hadn't read the book, I wouldn't have known that line. And, and it turns out it was a much better line than the one that was in the script. Um, so I, I love it when people remember certain lines. I think um, inside the TARDIS for the Doctor Who, because they built it exactly as it had been in 1963 for the very first one. In fact, some of the things, like there was a big twirly pillar in the um, a column in the, that was used in the very first film. And they used some of the original cameras that were like with bridge freezers, massive cameras. And just to be on that set, took me right back to when I first watched Doctor Who because William Hartnell was my first Doctor. I, I remembered seeing him. And so being on that set was quite strange because it was exactly as it had been. So that was, that was quite a treat, being inside the TARDIS. <laughs> Yeah? Okay. Stay here. Okay. <laughs> and one, three, go. You know, one, two, three! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.